Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to enable picture by picture on MSI MAG321 CUP. To do that, just click on, uh, click on the button on the back and if this setting PIP PBB, PBP is grayed out, then first go to gaming, then go to the right and now go all the way down and make sure that Adaptive Sync is off and DSC is off as well. Then you can go to the right and PIP and PBP will not be grayed out. Now go to the right and go to PBP. Click on OK to uh, enable it. And now your um, monitor is in picture by picture mode. Uh, for some reason it has set uh, uh, both uh, pictures to my max so I can change it by going to PIP PVP then go to source 1 and source 1 is gonna be HDMI 1 and now it's okay then let's go to PIP PBP, PBP and uh, you can set mode 1, mode 2 or customize. When I set the mode 1 then uh, the displays will be unequal. One is gonna be bigger, the other one is gonna be smaller as you can see and uh, if you set it to another option like for example mode 2 let's go to PIP PBP PBP and then mode 2 then they are gonna be equal and when they are equal you can go to the settings on both of your mm, sources but let me just change the source quickly source 1 to HDMI 1 and now you can go to the settings on both of your sources so let's do it and you can change the resolution so it makes sense to utilize this equal screens right go to system display and this is my second display but it's already set to the correct resolution mm, and on my Mac I'm gonna also change it so let me just move the settings here so you can see it I'm gonna select this monitor and now select the I guess this one yes this one or any other uh, resolution and now it's in the second mode or picture by picture or you can also set it to customize let me show you that in customize you can set the line yourself so you can just move it to right or left mm, so I'm gonna move it just slightly and you can see that one display is smaller, one is bigger um, and I think... no, I can't change it to be um, wider but uh, that's how it works I've already showed you how to change sources because I've done that twice uh, but you can just go to source 1 and source 2 and change it yourself you can click on display switch so they will just switch together like that and you can also go to audio switch which will switch the audio so when you click on it you're not prompted which audio will be used so you just need to guess which audio is, is being used and um, if not the correct one is used then you can switch it again that's all for today don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time